Hello students. Let us start with chapter 3 and its part 1. Chapter 3 is classification of elements and periodicity in properties. In class 9th, we have studied that elements are the basic units of all matter. The recently discovered elements are not natural but are synthetic, that is man-made. And efforts are still continuing to synthesize more new elements. With such a large number of elements, it became rather difficult to study individually the chemistry of these elements and millions of their compounds at this stage scientists felt the need of some simple method to systemize the study of properties of various elements and their compound that is the need why there is classification of elements that is why we has to classify elements Although every element is different from every other element, yet some elements have certain similarities. Based upon these similarities, the scientists after various attempts were ultimately successful in arranging the various elements into groups or chemical families in such a way that similar elements were grouped together and dissimilar elements were separated from one another. This arrangement of elements is called classification of elements and this led to the formulation of a periodic table. Thus, periodic table may be defined as the table which classifies all the known elements in accordance with their properties in such a way that elements with Dissimilar properties are grouped together in the same vertical column and dissimilar elements are separated from one another. So dear students, before starting this chapter, I want you must have a one page of periodic table, a chart of periodic table. It must be always with you while studying this chapter. Now, Start with the historical developments of the periodic table and first one was Daubigny's triads. He arranged similar elements in groups of three and showed that their atomic weights were either nearly the same or the atomic weights of the middle element was approximately the arithmetic mean of the other two. These groups of three elements were called Daubigny's triads and this generalization was called law of triads. In the picture as shown on the screen, if you take atomic weight of lithium and potassium and then their arithmetic mean, 7 plus 39 divided by 2, it comes out to be 23 and 23 is atomic weight of sodium. Now, Newland's law of octaves. When the lighter elements were arranged in order of their increasing atomic weights, the properties of every eighth element were similar to those of first one, like the eighth note of a musical scale. This generalization was named as Newland's law of octaves. For example, Serial number 1 means lithium, 2 beryllium, 3 boron, 4 carbon, 5 nitrogen, 6 oxygen and 7 fluorine. Now you are at the 8th point, 8th knot that is sodium. It means sodium will have the same properties as lithium is having according to Newland's law of octave. This generalization was also discarded. Since it was applicable to only lighter elements having atomic weights up to 40 U. Furthermore, with the discovery of noble gases, the properties of the earth element were no longer similar to those of the first one. Now came Mendeleev's periodic law. Mendeleev's periodic law, he arranged 
the known elements in order of their increasing atomic weights grouping together elements with similar properties and leaving out blank spaces dear student pay attention to the word leaving out blank spaces and it was one of the advantage of mendeley's periodic law and then mendeley proposed his periodic table and it states that properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses and periodic function means what are the periodic function what is periodic function this repetition of properties of elements after certain regular intervals is called periodicity of properties so what is periodic law the physical and chemical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic weights that is when the elements are arranged in order of their increasing atomic weights elements with similar properties are repeated after certain regular intervals and this repetition of properties of elements after certain regular interval is called periodicity of properties now start with advantages of mendeley periodic table which i said earlier mendeley left few gaps for the elements yet to be discovered thus if a certain new element is discovered it can be placed in a new group without disturbing any existing group so why it was discarded number 1 he was unable to locate hydrogen in the periodic table number 2 increase in atomic mass was not regular while moving from one element to another number 3 isotopes of elements which violated mendeley's periodic law so it was about the history of discovery of elements so that to arrange in a regular systematic way so dear students uh, try to recapitulate all the topics which you have studied in your lower classes and maintain class notebook thank you